Well, hello, folks. This is the uh, about the third time I'm out making this uh, video on focusing. Uh, anyways, uh, uh, I wanted to get it right. I keep thinking of stuff I forgot. Anyways, I'm using APT 3.81, and I'm on the Star Algo right now. And I came out here on my telescope. It's already um, I, it's on a permanent mount, so this is what it was last night. I, I didn't change the focus from last night or the previous night when I was using the telescope. So it's already pretty well, it's near focused. And I, my draw tube, my draw tube has numbers on it, and, and when it says it's 60 the, on the draw tube, uh, that's when I'm near focus. And it's focused enough to do star alignments and whatnot. So, but now I'm going to really do the fine focus for tonight. So here we go. I'm going to put a Botanoff mask on here. I have found that when I do the uh, live view and have it doing four second exposures, I get uh, pretty good... Um, turn out with that it's it seems to be uh, I don't want to do it too fast otherwise APT has trouble um, uh, downloading all there's a lot of information to download anyways now this I'm on the star algo right now and it's bright enough where I don't really have to go into one to one but if I did if it was if I was in a smaller star like say like this or one of these other ones down here you what you can do is you can go down here to one to one and it really brings it uh, you know you can see see how big the the image becomes but if you were going to do a smaller star you can do um, uh, that as well so, so like this star down here I could do I can do it with that star down there if I wanted to but I'm gonna go back to this uh, this image because as I said this star is so big I don't really need to uh, zoom into it that closely so I'm gonna come over here to tools button off aid and we'll see how well the focus held up for the since in the last two days press recalc and that isn't too bad uh, one thing I should uh, notice, I should mention, this green line here bisects the two red lines. That's how you know how good your focus is. Now it's 0.38. That isn't too bad, but I think I can get a little bit closer, or a little bit better. And so I'm going to down here to gear, and here's my position wheels that I can change on my, uh, or on my focuser right over here, the, these buttons right here. So I will try it with this course focus first and see what that does okay I'll press it again Let's see what that does and I'll press it again see if it does anything Okay, well, that's pretty good. When it gets down to point 0.1 or point 0.2 or point 0.1, when it jumps between point 0.2 or point 0.1, then it's pretty good. And I'll do one more adjustment over this way. Okay, that's pretty good right there. I'll turn it off and see what it looks like. Yeah, you can see this looks real good. Okay, so now I'm focused on the object and... I think that's about it uh, for now. Uh, oh, this live view thing. Apparently, this new 3.81 uh, it can do live view, but I haven't. I'm, I'm not going to go demonstrate that because I don't know how to do that right now. So that'll have to wait. Oh, it's not totally done. Just wanted to show you what the uh, image looks like when it's in focus without the button off mask, and you can see how nice and sharp all the stars are. Well, hi again. I'm not quite done. Uh, I wanted to show you well, how good is my focus. So I'm, I've got some live images right now. Let me maximize the screen. And you can see the stars. But now let me go into the that 
one to one fit and then you can really see the stars up close and here they are and you can see all the stars seem nice and uh, rounded so anyways looks like I'm pretty well focused on this uh, this object I'll go back to the overall view and here's the nebula the heart of the nebula anyways anyways now I think I'm done we'll see you later Thank you.